Welcome to Featuring Ventura County. In every election, thousands of ballots are cast, and each of those ballots contains numerous votes, and each of those votes needs to be counted quickly and accurately. The votes are counted here at the County Government Center behind me. Let's go take a look at how it's done. The Elections Division conducts all federal, state, county, school, and special district elections in Ventura County, and general municipal elections for all 10 Ventura County cities. There's a lot of work to be done before Election Day arrives, and elections are the responsibility of the county clerk and recorder, Mark Lund. Mark, thanks for letting us come down and see how our votes are counted. Hi, Bill. Welcome. Conducting elections, fair and open elections, are the cornerstone of our democracy, and that's basically what we do here. Make sure that every legal ballot that is cast gets counted. And there's a tremendous check and balance system that we have here to make sure that that happens, and it takes a lot of people to get that done. How many people are involved in the process? We have only 14 full-time employees that work here in elections. And as the election draws near, that number goes to about 2,000. They're split between here in the office and the polling places. We have over 360 of them in Ventura County. The job is to make sure that every vote that's cast, whether it's vote by mail or at a polling place, is cast legally. The ballots start arriving weeks before the election. These are vote by mail ballots, and this machine scans the images on the ballots. Irma Hernandez is with me, and she's going to explain how this machine works. Hi, Irma. Hi, Bill. I'd be happy to explain. Daily as these ballots come in, we start loading them onto this conveyor belt. As they are feeding through, the machine is capturing an image of the envelope. At the same time, it's sorting these ballots by precinct. What is the machine scanning for? What is it looking at? The machine is scanning the barcode that is on the envelope, which identifies the voter's pre-seat number. It's a four-digit number, and it captures the signature block that is on the envelope. We need that signature to compare it to the signature the voter has on file. And what happens if the signature is wrong or they forget to sign the envelope? If the voter forgets to sign the envelope or the signature on the envelope does not match the signature we have on file for that voter, we refer to it then as a challenged ballot. What we do then is we try to contact the voter to make a correction. So there's really an effort to make sure that voter gets to vote. Yes, that is correct. We contact the voter by mail. As we approach the election, then we revert to contacting the voter by phone. Uh, meanwhile, that ballot is pulled from this process and it is stored in this room in a box until we hear from the voter to have their vote counted. Tracy Sacedo is the county's assistant registrar of voters. Tracy, what happens to the ballots after they're removed from the envelopes? Once they're removed from the envelopes, the staff looks through them to make sure that there's a straight line being drawn in each voting area. Some voters mark their ballots with circles or X's, but the machines only recognize a straight line in the vote column. Then the ballots go to be counted. They enter the secure counting room on a conveyor belt, and they're loaded onto the machines to be tallied. This is the counting room, and there's one of three things that happen to the ballots. They come in, and to be tallied, they go into here. And if everything's great, they come out and they go straight into this box. If by chance they draw the line and it's too thick, the machine can't tell and it goes into this out stack bin. If they've decided to vote for a write-in, it comes down into this bin here, and then the ballots are tallied manually. We want to be sure that every legal vote is counted and that we have done our best to capture the voter's actual intent. All of the data from the vote by mail ballots is stored on these secure servers, but none of it can be viewed until after 8 p.m. on election day. But mailed in ballots aren't the only votes that are cast on election day. The rest come from the polling places. Before the polls close, the county clerk recorder swears in the deputies who will be responsible for transporting the ballots to the government center. The oath makes them deputy county clerks and authorizes them to handle the ballots on his behalf. The ballots start to arrive about an hour or so after the polls close. At the polling places, the votes are recorded onto computer cartridges or electronic memory cards. The data from the cartridges is sent to the same secure server where it is added to the data from the vote by mail ballots. If people want to follow the vote tabulation, do they have to come here to the government center or wait for the TV news? No, they don't. They can actually go to our website and see the tabulation in real time, or they can download our VC Elections app and get it on their smartphone. Shortly after 8 p.m., the first results are posted. These votes come from the vote by mail ballots. Over the remainder of the evening and into the early morning hours, the rest of the votes are tallied, but that doesn't mean the work is done. What has to happen to certify the election? The day after election, we enter what we call the canvas period. And the purpose of that is to tie up all the loose details and to audit our results to make sure that they're accurate. We accept ballots for three days if they're legally postmarked after the election. So we take the poll votes 
the vote by mail votes to make sure that they were cast legally and we end up with our results. We have 30 days to do that, but with the great staff that I have here, we always certify early. How much of this process is visible to the public? All of it is visible to the public, especially on election day. They can come in and see what happens here. The polling places are visible to the public. Elections are a fair, open, and transparent process, and we want people to see our democracy in action. What happens to all of the ballots after the election is over? We keep them in a secure area for 22 months. The law requires that. And the purpose of that is to make sure that we can address any question that comes up about the vote after the election. Are there any common misperceptions about voting or the voting process? Bill, the most common thing that I hear is my vote doesn't count anyways. Do you count all the votes? Rest assured that we count every vote that's cast legally here in Ventura County every election. The employees of the county's elections division have a passion for the democratic process, and they're working to keep our democracy pure. The next time you visit a polling place or drop your ballot in the mail, you can be sure that your vote will be counted quickly and accurately. See you next time on Featuring Ventura County.